hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to display records from a remote database of PHP my admin which is my SQL server I am using notepad plus plus to write the PHP code and in this PHP code contains a simple HTML5 code with some header tags h1 and h2 and horizontal line before writing the PHP code let's check in the browser how it looks the designing part and this is the output of the PHP code display records on my remote server hostandservers.com let's switch back again to the notepad plus plus after the horizontal line PHP dollar con is equals to my SQL li connect method which takes the host database user id password and the database name and here the my god id host name is 182.45.3082 username and the password my database is my sql db is my user database here the username and password are the fake ones here i specified just for the security reasons i have not providing my real username and password but at the time of uploading this page on my remote server i will change into real credentials dollar result is equals to my sql i underscore query which takes two parameters one is the connection this one and second one is a string query which is a SQL query let's log into my godaddy database account we'll find out the table name and the store procedure name after I log into my godaddy PHP my admin the remote database my SQL DB is my user database and notice here there are two folders here one for the tables and one for the procedure I'm expanding the tables and for this demo I'm using two students table let's browse this table and the right now they have five records on this students table my aim is I want to get this table using stored procedure on PHP and I already created the stored procedures here the display records this is a stored procedure name if you don't know how to create and execute the stored procedure I made a video on that it's available on my channel please visit that video let's close this let's flip back to the notepad plus plus we'll finish the rest of the code and here I'm adding my stored procedure name is which is string call crud underscore display is a store procedure name or die if the connection or query fail sq my sql underscore error method echo I'm adding the table tr th name th tr after adding the table header I'm writing the while loop dollar row is equals to my sqli underscore fetch array method takes dollar result this one testing here 
account td dot dot dollar row between square brackets the column name of the table which is the first name I'm closing the td echo break echo I'm closing the table mm. that's it let's save this file now it's time to check the final results on the browser I'm reloading the page to check the output. And here we got the table Charan, Jack, Kumar, Ben, and Chris. Let's check in the database also. Charan, Jack, Kumar, Ben, and Chris. We have used CRUD underscore display as a stored procedure. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.